Ding dong. Mm. Hello. Good morning, Joe. I'm Bill Tran from Electric, Patriot Electric. Hey, Bill. How you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing really good. What are we here for today? I am here because you are here because the uh, my master bedroom has no power in it. It's completely dark in there. I woke up this morning and the alarm didn't go off. And I guess my phone was dead and it was just dark. It was just I don't know what the heck happened. So you have no outlets or ceiling lights? The whole room is dark, the master bedroom, the bathroom. I had to take a shower by candlelight today. I cut myself shaving on my little finger. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hope you're feeling okay. I'm trying to make it through. You know, it's kind of frustrating. I'm very frustrated today because of the whole thing. So tell me, Joe, are we just going to take a look at things and uh, see what's going on? Or we, what do you want to do? Well, I'd like to get it fixed. I mean, I took off work today. So you took off work today, so you so make sure I know what you want to do today. You want to get, you want to do what? <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> I was like, oh no. I want to get it fixed, Bill. Took off uh, work today. So okay. we take a look at it. I mean, the real biggest thing is that I'm kind of like the bum of the house today because my whole, I usually wake up early and I wake my family up, but I, I still overslept because I didn't have my, the house was dark. <clears throat> so my wife was late, late for her job and my son was late for school daughter was late for school <clears throat> so they said you know, you know my, my, my wife said you should have known this you had uh, you know this the lights have been flickering for months we told you about it but you didn't do a darn thing so she, she was just blaming me you know what I'm saying mm, I understand that I'm married too you know what I'm saying yes so I just kind of think that but the whole family just you know put all the pressure on me there's feel so much pressure from the family. They, they all hate me, Bill. No, I don't think they hate you. Mm -hmm. uh, you seem to be a pretty nice guy. I'm sure you got him out of the house early enough to meet, meet all the needs. I think your family's up to you, Joe. Joe, I think your family. Can I say something, Joe? Hit me with that. Can I say something, Joe? What's that? I think your family's lucky to have you. Really? Why? Because uh, you have me here to take a look at the problems you have and solve these issues. It's so nice of you to say that. You want to come a coffee? Sure. Hey, that name was an interesting name, the Tranum. Man. You're not related to the Flying Tranum, are you? <laughs> Famous Flying Tranum, the guy who jumped out of bridges in Pasadena and things like that. How do you know that story? I saw it on the uh, on the what do you call it? The Biography Channel. They had a, this guy who was back in the back in the day. Who you related to him? Yes, that was my grandfather. Your grandfather? Yes. What's his name? John Tranum. John Tranum, that's him. Yep. The flying Tranum, they call him. Yeah, he was a parachute jumper. Parachute jumper. That's it, man. Well, he jumped off the Apple Tower, right? Yes, he jumped off the Apple Tower. Oh my God, that's an honor to meet you. Oh, thank you. It's an honor it's like to meet you. Like meeting a celebrity. No, I'm nobody. I'm just the average guy. <laughs> well, it's amazing. The average guy wanting to help you. Good for you. Well, anyway, uh, you want to take a look at this thing? Here's the panel sure. over here. You want to look at the? Let's take a look at the room. Here's room. the room right here. Look at this. Here. It doesn't look dark. Look at. I'm saying it's dark in here. Look at the flashlight on. Come on. Tell Joe, how, how about if I just take a look at everything and see what I could come up with to solve your issue for today? Yeah, let's do it. Have you ever had anybody else? Uh, do you have anybody else with <coughs> the electrical one? Oh, yeah. I used uh, Acme Electrical for many years. They did the cam lights in the hallway over here. Oh, okay. <coughs> they just put that in about two years ago. I noticed it was on the way in. Mm -hmm. Uh, how come you're not using them today? Oh, I don't want to talk about that, Bill. It's kind of a bad situation that happened. Really? Um, yeah. Off the record. Uh, why don't you finish? What happened? I hate to get into that. I'm a Christian, man. I like to talk bad about other people. Oh, I'm not talking bad about people. I just want to know what they did to make sure I don't do the same. Oh, okay. Well, what happened was I had this guy here from Acme. Uh, his name was uh, Lyle, and so I get home. These can lights, I'm, the holes are cut, and there's wire hanging down in the holes. I'm like, "Where's Lyle? Lyle, where's he at?" So I go to sit on the couch. I'm, I'm going, like, "Huh? Well, maybe I'll just watch the Yankees game and we'll wait and see if this guy comes back." And uh, I thought I was sitting on. I go sit down. I thought I was sitting on a blanket, and Lyle's underneath the blanket sleeping <laughs> on the couch. And I'm like, holy crap, Lyle, I'm sitting in Lyle. And then uh, the, the, 
flask of Jim Beam falls out of his pocket. Do you believe that right on the couch? Oh, wow. Drinking urine? Drinking no. bourbon. Well, maybe he just had a bad day. Maybe something happened the night before and he didn't uh, sober up. You drink at somebody's house, though? Isn't that. I'm sure, you don't want to give chance. Well, you see what the manager said. What did the manager say? The manager said that the. Uh, the company sponsors AA meetings at their whole shop. They have the shop has to they all attend at the same time. Wow. Did you talk to the owner of the company about this? I did. Well, he, he's the guy who runs the meetings. He said he's the main guy. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's a guy. It was crazy. I don't know. Was, I mean, I, I'm all for a second chance and whatever, but come on. You got drinking. So, so he said he's had a, he said he called that a relapse. You know, he'll be, he'll be okay. You know, he, you know, he, he said that Lyle, he said, don't worry, Lyle's not going to sue you for sitting on him. That's what he told me. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Right? I mean, that's crazy. So how'd you hear about it? <clears throat> well, you should, I mean, I, my wife thinks I should give him a second chance. You believe that? Yeah, maybe you ought to give him a second chance. No, I ain't give him a second chance. I'm done with these guys. You sure? I'm done with them, so. All right. That's all I got to hold of you guys. How'd you hear about it? Well, it's a really good question. I got, I got to hold of you guys from a friend of mine from church. Uh, his name is Earl Wagner. Earl Wagner. Oh, we know him. He yeah, told me that's working for some people. Oh yeah, he used to work all over him. He likes you guys. He has Joe and Neil, such top top of the line people. Well, that's good. We like him too. Uh, thanks for telling me that. You heard you know what he said about you? No, what did he say about you? He said you guys were neat, you're clean, you get the job, they're just good, good people. Really? All that? What else did he say about you? He said that uh, especially liked uh, Neil. He said he thinks Neil's the honest one. <laughs> Uh, we're all honest. I know. I'm just teasing. He, 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 said, he, said, yeah, he said Joe just talks a lot. Yeah, that's true. He does, he does talk, talk a lot. But he's a nice guy. Oh, my God. He always means that. He said he's a great guy, but he said he talks a lot. Yeah. yeah. But, he's yeah. a funny guy. a quiet one. He shouldn't have said on this one. He's a quiet yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, they make a great team. You want a cup of coffee? Absolutely. Let me get you a cup of coffee, okay? All right. Thank you. Get you coffee. You want to take a look at something you know I could do? Pardon? Take a look at it and let me know what we could do. Yeah, yeah sure. Well, so what'd you find here, Bill? Something nice and easy, like a bad fuse or a circuit breaker? What do we got well, here? Well, unfortunately, it's not that so easy. I don't know. What is it? Uh, we have a major uh, short in your system. Oh, geez. Um, the lights and the can, the ceiling are not working. No uh, way. Other issues in your uh, panel oh, that, God. that is caused most of the problems. Um, but we have solutions to solve the problem for you. Oh, God. What, what kind? Well, we always give six solutions on the cost factor for the customer if they could uh, handle the packages. So we'll start with a premium package. We have a premium package that we uh, have more time for um, <coughs> Neil and Julie to have time off. Mm -hmm. No fear when you're sleeping or away from home that your house is going to burn down or anything like that. That's very good. Also, I noticed the cans in the hallway mm -hmm. that you were talking about that they put in. You have a lot of leakage of um, fiberglass. fiberglass. That's what, those, that's what those cobwebs are. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's not It's not dust, it's cobwebs. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's fiberglass. Uh, why did, how come the other guy did that? I mean, did, uh, don't they make some kind of thing that doesn't have fiberglass? That's what that gray dust is hanging yeah, from the side? gray dust is. So when we do them, we always seal them up. <sighs> so we're going to take care of that also for you. Take care of it. Bring your package. We'll reseal everything for you and check the wiring on that also. Oh, my God. Um, on this package, it's a little, little uh, costly. Uh, high investment. Really? High investment, and uh, but it's a great package. We allow you, to, we'll cover everything for you. Mm -hmm. We'll come in and fix all the issues, and uh, give you a ten-year, uh, ten-year uh, warranty, ten-year service plan. So you don't have to worry about anything, any any issues with the work we do. We come back anytime during this ten years. Wow, that sounds great. How much do you think that package? Bill, I mean, it's probably going to sell me seems like $5,000 to put that. That's a lot of work. I think only $5,000. $10,000? I'll be honest with you. It's only thirty-one seventy-seven. What? Just see that. So what, what, what do you want to do? What now? So what do you want to do? <laughs> what should we get? What should we get? What should we get? That's better. <clears throat> That's all that banging noise around here. Um, <laughs> They're outside fixing my truck. I got a flat tire on the way in. Bill, this is a lot more money I thought I was going to spend. You know that, right? Uh, it's a premium package. You know, we have other options if it's too much.
much for you. What do you like about the, any of the other options? Well, I like the top option the most. That's expensive, but I like it. What do you like about it? Well, I mean, it gets the whole thing down with the, you got 10 year warranty, 10 year service plan. Pretty amazing. And the service plan part of it, um, so if I had to get the batteries in my smoke detector, you guys take care of that for me? Sure. Because I can't stand that kind of thing, you know? No, no, we, we cover all our bases. <coughs> Is it okay if I don't go with the top option? Do I have to go with that top option? Oh, no, these options are for you to choose. Which one do you recommend, Bill? Uh, you know, we, we don't, I don't recommend any option for my customers. I don't think it's right. I think you should uh, recommend what's right for you and your family. Huh. So, so what should we do? Is this competitive? Like, if I looked around, would I find a cheaper company on this? Oh, you'll probably find cheaper companies because they cut corners. We don't cut corners. We do it right. Right, so. I don't want to cut corners. That's good. So what should we do? You do side jobs on this? Oh, no, I mean, Bill's do side jobs. We were an honest company. I work for an honest company. I'm an honest person. I could tell that. I could really tell that. <coughs> so what should we do? I was just testing you. Don't tell your boss I said that, okay? No, I won't. I know you're a nice guy. I would, I would never do a side job. I just want to see if you were just make sure you're on the up. Sometimes I test people, you know, it's kind of I'm kind of crazy. Yeah, okay. it's okay to do that. It's always good to know. What up? Well, so if I did this 3177, does it, will that get the power back on from four tomorrow so I can have the whole thing with my family going on here? Is that gonna help me? By tomorrow? I get that power back on? Yeah, let's see. We can possibly do that. If I can do that. If I can do that. What would happen then? What would happen then? Then we just do that top one there. So you're telling me you want to do the top one? I want to do the top one, 31977. Did you look at the other ones on there? I don't want the crappy ones. I want the good one. But there's cheaper items on there. I don't want the cheap. I want the good one. Just want to make sure you've seen it all so you understand what you're buying. Listen. I got a skybox at Yankee's game. I think I wanted the, the cheap one. No, can I go with you sometime? <laughs> well, sure. You like shrimp? <laughs> Absolutely. I got shrimp as big as your fist over there. You know wow. what I'm saying? This is New York. Yeah. You can do it big. Yeah, you can. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so you want to go with the top one? You sure? Well, so what's the top one it is. Yes, I want the top one. So how, how, how do you want to handle that? Cash or credit? Can I use American Express? We are going to go American Express. What will we do it today? I just do it right now. Right now? I dare you to do American Express. I get my points done. <laughs> we do American Express or not? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's do American <laughs> Express. There you go. So, nice job. Yeah, I love it.